What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Magnificent. Coming back with actually not another sneaker review. It's actually a tech review. Um, that's actually in relation to my sneaker review. So I've been doing a lot of sneaker reviews, but I figure instead of doing the same thing over and over again, uh, where I talk about the detail, um, the story behind the shoe, in addition to that, you're going to see s separate segments um, of the shoe. So... Typically, what I do sometimes, if it's a 3M reflective, I'll turn the lights off so you can see that 3M feel of a shoe. Um, but I've never gotten a chance to really take it to the next step, which is the up close. And when I say up close, I mean zoomed in up close so you can see the detail of the stitching, uh, any material used in the shoe. Um, you want to see, are you getting your money's worth or, or are you not? So for that, I had to take my, my game to another level. Um, and my friends at, uh, <laughs> Zinvo, shout out to you guys, have sent me a product that I can put over my camera. Now, my camera is a, a Note 8, so it has dual lens, right? So I believe the lens on the inside is the wide, wide angle camera, and the lens towards the outside is the telephoto camera. So typically when you have like these, uh, lens attachments that you can put over your camera, they always tell you to put it on the wide camera angle. So it's typically this portion right here. So with that said and done, what that does, it enables me with a camera, with those type of attachments. It enables me to take the camera and zoom in. And you'll see it momentarily on my camera phone um, through the lens and how detailed it looks. It's, it's Trust me, it's going to be a game changer when I get done. Um, for this example, I'm going to use my Kyger 5s. I had to part ways with the black one, but I did did keep the lime ones, lime white ones, which I'm gonna bring out. But I wanna give a, a different experience to viewers that look at shoes and just see it from a, a different perspective. Because every stitch, every part in the shoe, every colorway can make or break a shoe. I think anybody can attest to that. So Here's the Kyger 5s, right? You're looking at it through my camera 360, camera 180 view. Um, but you're going to see it up close, really up close. Um, because I know the whole Virgil Abloh, his detailed, crazy looking Kyger 5s. Um, and we, we know how that can get. But imagine seeing this shoe just magnified times 10. Actually, in this case, I think it's 15. So Zenvo sends a box like this. Um, and also, let me just take this off. It is very, very easy to put together. Very, very easy to understand. Um, the box itself comes with like a, kind of like a carrying case. Uh, inside the carrying case, this is the clip that'll go over top of your phone. Um, they actually have a demo online that gives you an introduction on how to do the basics with this, um, with this setup. This right here, I can tell you right now it's a game changer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that and, and momentarily. Um, this actually is for this. And then you'll see basically how this ties together. Um, this is to put around your neck, I'm guessing. Yes, to put around your neck. So if you want to take your clip around with the, uh, oh, the lens is right here. With the lens, you can do so. Take it out of the fly. I think they suggest don't put these two together. So what this is is... This, the bottom lens is a macro, so that's for the close-up, uh, and the top lens is the wide angle. So most cameras have a wide angle camera. This is just making that view even wider. So this is probably perfect for selfies, especially if you're in a group photo and you're trying to get a wide picture without having to sit there and struggle trying to figure out. Now, Apple is Apple phones typically have a way of getting that in, but... Even with this, you can still have a better angle than most phones have today. So all this is is an attachment. Uh, and this attachment basically goes on to your phone. Let me take this off. So this is what I was saying. The, the clip itself, you want to go to the, the wide angle camera, which is right here, the lens. And how this works is you want to make sure you position this right over. So I'm going to line this up just like so and that's what the clip looks like so the clip is going to go over here you'll still be able to look inside here 
I like the fact that they have like a sort of like a directional target line by line where you can um, basically center the, the, the wide angle lens on your camera phone uh, before you record. So this is just the clip alone. Now, this comes in two sets. You, you can do it this way. If you unscrew, because it comes screwed, if you unscrew this portion, here's the macro lens. This is for, this is what I'm talking about when I say you can see up close, I think it's like times 15. So you can see just magnify, just real close. <laughs> Real close vi videos and pictures. Uh, and then this lens is what you're going to do for the wide camera angle. Now, you have to put these two together when you're going to do the wide angle camera. And of course, take the case off. But I'm going to assemble it real quick, show you guys what I think about it. And then also, you're going to see the actual video clip, the differences between the regular camera that I have on there and then when I put a, actually, when I placed the, the camera. Or the, actually the clip on the phone itself. So let's do this. Let me just take this off. Of course, it has a screw right here. So you want to take this protective cover off. And since we already have the clip on the phone, we're going to put this on here. Screw this in. And make sure it's screwed in all the way. Actually, what I'm going to do is take this off. And what I want to make sure that this is secured in tightly because you don't want glares, anything like that on the phone itself. There we go. Tighten that in there. I'm going to put the wide angle camera on. Uh, and basically that's it. I mean, this is, this is, it can go on the outside of the camera, but it can also go on the inside. So if you're taking, this is what I mean. Like if you're taking like a group shot and you want to do a wide camera angle, photo it goes on like this you can hold the phone you do one of these you know how it is but again you're not gonna be able to really see it until you see the next video that I'm gonna play where you actually see the camera connected to the uh, actually the lens connected to the camera to the phone itself and then you can see like the wide angle close-up that I was talking about um, it also comes with like um, let's see this package comes with Oh, this is, must be the USB. So this is basically like a, like a USB card. It basically, once you plug it into your computer, it takes you directly to uh, a website link where it gives you that introduction video. It tells you, gives you tutorials and covers the basics of setting the camera up um, on your phone, when to use it, when not to use it, how to use it, how not to use it, things of that nature. And then it also comes with a cleaning lens, so you can clean the lens in the event that you're in a dusty place or it gets, it gets dirty, you can clean that off. It also comes with, um, I believe it's just a manual, like a startup manual. It shows you the basics, which is pretty cool. So the reason why I say it, but this portion is a game changer. I'm going to show you why right now before we even get to transfer into the phone so you can see the, the, the picture difference. This is a game changer because if I'm in a dark area, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to display this. If I'm in a dark area, um, and I really don't have any lighting around me, um, if I turn my phone on, what's going to typically happen is it's, it's so dark until I smile. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's so dark um, that you're not going to be able to get that best picture. So what this does, this little device is actually a light. Ooh, that's bright. And it has three different forms. It has a small, sorry, has a medium, has a high, and it has a low lighting source. So I'm not going to kind of beam this right into the lens, but I'm just going to show you that you can sit there and then turn it off. It has three different levels, low, medium, high. Um, again, this is like basically being on TV. Um, you will see your facial features enhance uh, with, with your face or your item, whatever you have plugged, at least, sorry, plugged. Whatever you have displayed <laughs> in front of your camera, you'll be able to see that light source and it'll bring out the depth, the true depth of the picture, which I think is, is, is awesome. Uh, and the reason why I said that this data thing I thought that this was battery operated, um, but I didn't realize that it has a USB charge where you can take this. I think they say it takes about an hour to charge. Uh, once you plug it in, put it in with a uh, power adapter, plug it in, it takes about an hour to charge. Um, if it's a red blinking light, it means it's still charging. If you don't see that red blinking light, that means it's done, fully charged, and you're ready to go. Um, this 
this is is pretty dope. I've never seen anything like this. I thought most camera lenses, when they come out with something, they usually you know they send you that wide that wide angle camera, um, the macro, the closer uh, angle camera with some you know some features. But this, <laughs> you don't know how on the fly that this stuff works because there's so many areas where I've seen so many people on YouTube where they they travel places. Um, so many people on YouTube channels, I should say, they travel to places. They have the camera up, and you want to see everything that's going on, but unfortunately you can't see because certain parts of where they are is pretty dark, and it sucks. So that's why I said, like, getting stuff like this just to enhance the experience, the YouTube experience for people that watch your videos day in, day out, I think that this product is amazing. Again, Zenvo. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to switch. We're going to go from my Samsung 360 directly on the camera itself so you can see how much of a difference it is, uh, what the visual is like, things of that nature. So, your boy Milton never said, let's go switch this up to the, uh, the, the phone itself and then um, we'll go from there. All right, so we are on the phone itself and let's just see if we can put this on. So I got the, the clip with the wide angle camera on and the macro on connected right there. You can see it, focus. There you go. So let's try to put this on. Let me see how hard it is to put this on. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to do this live because you have to kind of look at the angle. There we go. And then go up, go up. Oh, wow. Up, oh, wait a minute. Go up. There we go. All right. So, oh my God, you can see a wide, wide me. So you just saw the difference. So the first visual that you saw was the actual camera, the stock camera that came on my Galaxy Note 8. Now you're looking at me from the wide angle camera. Um, and of course, um, that actually is pretty cool. But this is what I was talking about with this lighting source. So if I, let's just for say, I just turn off the lights, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to literally turn off the lights. Um, and then see if you can see me. Let me just put this back on here and let's see if you can see me. So if I turn off the lights, I'm going to, you can only see me when I smile. Like literally you can see me when I smile. Ha ha ha. Jokes is on you. But anyway, let's turn on the light that came on with this adapter and boom, you can see me in the dark. I don't have to smile just for you to see something. You can see me in the dark. This is a game changer. Again, the three levels of light right here. So this is high. This is medium. And this is low. I like high, obviously, just because, you know, you can see like a better version of me. And I, I can hear you guys kind of like laughing at me. But this is pretty cool. That's why I wanted to demo it this way. No lights again. The only light source you have is the adapter that comes with this device. Game changer. Perfect. So I'm going to turn the lights back on. Okay. I can turn this off. And also, ugh. What, I want to show you the, the close-up lens to see how that goes. We're still recording. You know me. One take, Jake. <laughs> so, don't forget, Zenvo is a good product. I'll leave the um, link in my bio of this video. And also, let's just let's take a look at the uh, the wide, wide on the other side, basically this side. So, I'm going to take this lens off. Whoa. And then I'm going to put it on backwards. So hopefully I can position this good. Now you can't see me. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. All right. That's kind of amazing because I really did that like on the fly without even <laughs> kind of looking at it. So anyway, this is the wide angle. So what I'm going to do is take the, the light clip back off, which is this right here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is... This is the regular camera that comes stocked. This is the wide lens that's coming from the Note 8. Now, when I put this on, you can see that is a wider angle. Let me just put this up. Again, I'm trying to do this without looking on the other side of the camera. I think I actually did it. <laughs> I really did. I can't believe I just did that. But anyway, so now it looks wider, right? So you have a wider, more rich video picture quality of this lens. Now, these are the Kyger 5s that release by Virgil. This is the off-white. I still have this. Now, this is what I was talking about by taking the top lens off. If I can do this. The wide angle off and putting the 
macro on, uh, which I'm going to try to do now. So, bear with me. I'm going to take this clip off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the wide angle off. I can find my clip. And then we're going to put this on the clip. Now, this is the close-up that I was talking about because I wanted to see how close. Of course, you can zoom in on your phone, but sometimes when you zoom in on your phone, eh, it looks kind of like it gets grayly. As soon as, the more you magnify it, uh, I think the, the worse it gets. So let's flip this over. All right. And let's see if we can get a close-up. Now, this is as close as... This is my stock phone, right? So you can see that. Okay, that looks pretty cool. But... What happens when we put this bad boy on? Okay, so here it is, magnified right here. Make sure this is in. Now, look what happens when I go, I mean, like this is very detailed. So you were looking at it before from a different angle, and you can see a, like, real wide, wide, wide angle on this. Now, I'm going to actually see if I can, let me see if I can do this. Because I believe the laces on here are 3M. So the idea... Is if I turn flash on, turn the video, turn the flash on, there you go. And let's look at this from a, I want to see how it treats the flash. It's kind of interesting how this will work out. I don't think it's going to work with flash on. Oh, actually it does. Wow. So the trick with flash on, it's going to be kind of tricky just simply for the fact that, just trying to get this on here. There we go. Wow, it actually does come out pretty good. You can see the 3M on the laces. Uh, but let me take this off. Turn this off. You can see that 3M on there. Put this back on photo. And then put the lens back on because I want to see how close... Again, trying to do this blindly, We're not looking at the phone itself. Um, but yeah, this is the, the close-up that I was talking about. But look at the detail. I mean, you can see the shoe in, in entirety. <laughs> anyway, from the, the from the Velcro right here, uh, through the rope laces right here, the suede, the hairy suede on the shoe. I mean, you want to talk about detail. You can see detail on this shoe like there's no tomorrow. I mean, I can see like the peach fuzz <laughs> on the off-white tag. Like this is so, this is a deep, I mean, when you say up close, this is an up close review. And you can see that, hell yeah, hey, you can probably see if this was, you know, verify if it's dead stock or not by looking inside the shoe, <laughs> uh, which you can see. But yeah, look, look at the detail on it. I mean, that's amazing. The fact that you can, I can review my shoes now um, up close. And I mean, I mean, really up close so you can see a detailed really detailed look of any shoe that i get i think the next one i'm gonna get is the jordan 11 ie lows the uh concords that released uh yesterday but yeah just take a look at that man like that is detail awesome so let me just put this back on here all right your boy milton just wanted to give you that quick review um Hey, Zenvo, you, you guys really hit it right with this. So I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to do future videos and, and do my close ups my own feeds and stuff like that. So now I can do on the fly recording. I can do it. You know, I don't need like an expensive camera or anything like that. I think I paid at most what forty dollars for for this um, lens attachment to go with my phone. And again, it's convenient for me. It's fast for me. I can get the videos out as five, ten minutes. No, literally five, ten minutes for me to set it up. Um, but I, it doesn't require me to, to take a big camera with me. I can take my phone with me. It's an attachment lens. I'm telling you right now, this is a game changer. You're not going to see shoes like you've seen them before until you see my videos in the future. So your boy, Milton Nipperson, I hope all is good. You guys have a blessed day. Subscribe to me. I will subscribe to you. And again, I'll leave the link for this um, this attachment for this item, the uh, Zenvo wide angle and close-up macro angle video your boy magnificent signing off